Hello and welcome to another assembly on the Commodore 64 programming video. Right, where did we get up to before? It's been a little while. I've uh, had a few other things on. Um, we have done, let's quick, do a quick recap. So video one, we did some basic um, poking to the screen, um, changing the borders and filling the screen up. Um, video two, we put some sprites on the screen. Okay, um, video three, what did we do there? I think we used the uh, raster interrupts to uh, play music and um, do some things there. Um, video four, we did some animations on our sprites okay, using the interrupts. Um, video five, we did some joystick movement on our sprite. Uh, move, moved it around, changed the animation to um, reflect what direction the sprite was traveling in. And um, we ended up with a sort of Pac-Man type sprite moving around. So let's let's just run video five. Okay, so that fires up. Uh, we move our joystick. So he goes left, right, up, down. He stops at the borders. I say he, how dare I assume his gender? Okay, so it moves all over the place. Goes right to the end, yeah, and stops. So we put some controls in to um, stop it going over the borders. And yeah, that's as far as we've got on here. So um, in this video, uh, continuing sprites, we're going to look at sprite to sprite collisions. Uh, more specifically, hardware collisions for sprite to sprite. Um, I'm not going to do sprite to background uh, on this video because I'm not a big fan of the implementation on the Vic hardware for that. So we're going to look at a separate way of doing that uh, on a on a, a later video where we um, we um, use a technique to check around the sprite and see what characters it's going to touch or will touch and see if they are good or bad. And then if they're bad, then we take an action. Okay, so back to where we are. What we're gonna do is um, we're gonna just chuck another static sprite in the um, window. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll use one of the frames from, um, from um, Pac-Man, I won't bother animating it or anything like that because, it, I mean, it's easy to do. We've got all the code in place, but I simply cannot be bothered. And I just want to plonk it in the screen and then uh, show you how to detect the collision between two sprites and how to code in, you know, an action of what happens when that happens. So first thing we'll do is we'll, we'll draw the sprite for the enemy sprite. Um, we'll do that in the game code. Okay, so without any further ado, let's um, let's put that in. Now, I'm using Windows as my environment today. So um, I've got different, slightly different um, setup and layout, but uh, it's, this, it's still the same software, VS Code and uh, Kick-Ass Assembler. Right, so the first thing we want to do is get our sprite pointer. Um, so sprite frame in in memory 200, I think that's just to put the mouth shut. Okay, we're going to get that and we're going to store that in sprite, not pointer naught because that's our character, pointer one, that's going to, so sprite naught is our sprite, sprite one is the enemy sprite. Let's let's make him or it or her or whatever red. So we'll load the um, we'll load our um, constant for red in there, which we've defined uh, in previous videos, and we'll store that in multicolor three, not for sprite naught, but for sprite one. What's the next thing we need to do is position it. So let's position it in 
200. So we'll change that to a 1. And say 120 down. So we'll load that mill into the accumulator and store that into Sprite 1Y. Um, so Sprite Enable, let us let me, rather than just putting 2 into Sprite Enable, so let me just show you what that means. So the Sprite, again, the Sprite Enable is um, one byte of memory and that's an 8, eight bit and each bit which is here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If they're naught, that sprite is on. No, sorry, that sprite is off. If they're 1, that sprite is on, and they start from the left. So bit 0 is sprite 0. So what we did earlier is we set that, so it turned on sprite 0, and we want to turn on sprite 1 as well, so we need to enable the register to look like that. So that is the number three, obviously, if you convert binary to decimal. But what I want to do is a little trick. So without knowing whether sprite zero is on or off, I just want to turn this bit onto, into one. So without, care, without changing any of the others, I just want to change that. Okay, so the way we do that, so the value of that bit is two. So that's zero for this one and two, four, eight, etc., etc. So what we do is we uh, load whatever is in sprite, the sprite enable. Okay, which should be one. We know it's one, but Let's pretend we don't, because things could happen in the game, which we haven't coded yet. Okay, and what we do is we all that with the value of 2. So basically, when you or, it turns bits on. So the way that would look is if it's if it's that, is that the right number there? If it was that before, and we all it with 2, it, it would... Uh, I have got enough bits on it there okay so that's what it would that, that's what it would look like if we ordered it with two if it was this and we ordered it with two it would look like this so all we're doing is turning this bit here on okay so and we use and to turn bits off so we're going to or it with two, and we will store that in the sprite enable. So that should um, that should actually um, put our sprite on the screen. So shall we test that? So let's save that and Control F5. There we go. There's a really wonderful looking sprite with no no mouth. <laughs> it looks ugly, doesn't it? So what I'd like to do is when we go into it, I'd like something to happen to indicate that I've died or lost a life or whatever. Okay, so there's our sprite appearing on the screen. So how do we uh, do this? Well, I'll draw your attention to a um, register. Okay, if we look in our constants, um, it's here. Um, we've called it sprite col sprite, so sprite collision with a sprite, and the register address is D01E. Okay, um, if we zoom out of that and I'll we go to the memory map D01E, which we can see here. Okay, that's the sprite to sprite collision register, and we're going to read the bits. So, sprite collided with another sprite, and it's so like the uh, sprite enable, it's um, one byte of memory with eight bits on it, and it will tell us which sprites have collided with which. Now, how does that work? Well, it works very similarly to 
the um, sprite register bit. The uh, uh, sprite register, sprite um, enable. So let's have a let's have a look at this in more detail here. So this is our bit, our byte. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so these are our sprites. So sprite naught, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what would happen if sprites are colliding with each other, or two sprites collide, then they will appear as ones. So I want to detect whether sprite one, the sprite zero collides with sprite one. So when they do collide, the VIC hardware will put this number into that into that um, byte of memory. Okay. Um, so the simple way simple way of doing it is checking this for three. Okay, which is one plus two makes decimal three. Um, we can do other things. Um, we can test whether the sprite zero has collided with anything by just testing this bit here. Okay, so what we do is we'd load this into the accumulator. We'd then and all these, so uh, and then compare it with one. So when I say and all these, what I mean is say my sprite collided with sprite five. Okay, if we and this, if we and that with, with this, that would make that would make this. And then we'd look for the value of one, which is our sprite has collided with any of the other sprites. So we're not going to go that complex in this thing. What we are going to do is very, very simple. So we are going to load into the accumulator the sprite coal and sprite. I think that's what it was. Sprite coal sprite. And we're simply going to compare it with the number three, which means sprite zero and sprite one are in that collision register. If they're not, we just want to carry on with our code. So looking down here, we wanted to jump to there and not do it, not go from straight from here to there. So if our sprite has not collided, go to the test joy label. And then the code I'm going to write now will only happen if they if it is equal to three. So what I will do, which is very very straightforward, I'm going to increase the colour of the player. Just increment the sprite colour by one, so it'll change colour. Um, then I'll move it out the way. So let's move move our sprite. Um, back across the screen. We'll store that in the. We, we're using temporary X and Y for. Oh, we're using temporary X and Y for the uh, sprite, and then we, we move it once we've checked borders. So we will just move him back across the screen, out the way there. So let's let's just go through this again, shall we? Um, so, if every every raster frame, the um, or every game loop, which is every raster frame, okay, we will we load in the uh, sprite collision register. We will check to see whether sprite zero and sprite one have registered as hardware collision. If they haven't, we'll just carry on testing for the joystick movements. If it has. We'll increase the colour and then move the sprite, player sprite, back away from the uh, sprite. I mean, in a game, you'd probably, if you're going to die, you'd play a, a different animation and then decrease the number of lives and then move the player to the X, Y, the start of the level. Right, let's just save that and have a little look. 
and zoom out. Okay, here's our sprite. And let's move it. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. And did absolutely nothing. Okay. Let's debug and see what I've done wrong. Of course, I know exactly why that didn't work. Let me explain. So, what happens is um, we run the check in game code here. So we draw that we draw the sprite of the enemy, and then we check for collision, and then we go to test joy. But if we scroll down here at the end of this routine, okay, once it's updated the sprite positions and everything, then it's jumping to test joy. So it's never checking it anymore. So we need to change that to game code. So let's save that, and then let's run that. So here we go. Oh, there we go. We hit. It's changed our colour and reset us. Let's try going from the bottom. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, one pixel away. Oh! <laughs> okay, and um, we'll try it. We'll just do one more test from uh, here. So we move down. Bang! There we go. So yeah, this was a um, very sort of short and sweet video compared with some of the others. Um, the reason for that is because the um, sprite to background collision is a lot more involved and I'll be dedicating an entire video to that. Okay, so once again, any questions, put them in the comments. And thank you very much for watching and I hope it was useful.